welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I thought it's about time we did another haul. So, I'm going to be doing a Pretty Little Thing haul. Not going to lie, I did spend a small fortune. I did get quite a variety as well, you know, I got some jumpers, some summery bits, some autumny bits, some Christmassy bits. No, I'm just joking, I didn't get anything with Santa on, but I did get some woolly jumpers and stuff. I mean, I got one woolly jumper. But, I can tell you for sure, I will be getting loads more of them soon. Okay, before we start, one thing I do just want to say is please ignore the state of me. Please ignore the lighting. It's currently like 9, 10 o'clock at night because I've been at work all day. I'm so dedicated to getting uploads regularly on a Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday for you guys that this is just the way it has to be, unfortunately. As always, if you are looking forward to this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you have just stumbled across our channel and you would like to stay, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. Anyways, let's get straight into the haul. I'm not gonna bother with prices today, just purely because I know Pretty Little Thing have a few discounts on. Um, at the minute, I think it's 20% off. So the prices I gave won't really be a true representation. But yeah, if you check out the website, if you do like any of these things, as always, I will link everything in the description box below. Um, but none of it was too expensive. It's pretty little thing. It's quite a standard shop. Okay, so the first thing that I bought was one of these white biker style tops. And I did buy one of these not so long ago from I Saw It First. But I actually ended up sending it back because it was just so see-through. And I find it so hard to find these type of tops that aren't see-through um safe to say to be honest this top wasn't really much different it was extremely see-through as you'll be able to see in the clip um one thing i would say though girls do your makeup after you put the top on because how am i supposed to send that back now or just don't wear makeup when you try the clothes on Okay, the next thing that I bought were these tie-dye joggers. Again, tried to buy some of these from Pretty Little Thing. No, I didn't, Ellie. You tried to buy them from I Saw It First. The fit of them weren't the best. Safe to say, the fit of these aren't the best either. Um, I've done it a little bit different this time. I have tried the clothes on before because then I can actually give you a true representation of what I thought to them. Do you know what? The bottom of the joggers felt really, really nice. I'm a big, big fan of Pretty Little Thing joggers. I, I literally wear them all the time. But these ones, just around the waist, didn't feel that great. I don't know why, I just didn't find the fitting was that, that good, to be honest. Um, I got them in a size 10 as well. Now, in joggers, they sort of size up, just because I like them to be a little bit baggier. But I think if I wanted to keep these, I'd probably have to go up another size. So they're not a true representation of size. So if you were gonna order these, I would definitely, definitely advise sizing up. Unless you like them tight, and in that case, pick your normal size. So whilst we're on the topic of tie-dye, I then bought these blue tie-dye shorts, which I thought were beautiful. Um, the quality of these shorts, honestly, is amazing. They are so thick. However, on the model, again, they looked quite oversized. Now again, when I tried them on, they weren't skin tight, but they definitely weren't oversized. So again, I would say if you are buying these shorts, size up but barring that the quality of these shorts are unbelievable like i've just said really really good shorts they're not too short either and um, you know you sometimes get those shorts where they ride up or they're really short and your bum cheeks out these aren't like that they're really nice um they actually sort of dim down a bit at the back as well which is good perfect length like i say i would just strongly recommend sizing up if you're going to get them okay the next thing that i bought was just some khaki cycling shorts do you know what? When cycling shorts first came about, I wasn't a massive fan at all. However, they're growing on me. Um, I don't think I'd ever be the type of girl to wear them on a night out. You'll probably see me wearing them on a night out very, very soon. They're growing. They're growing on me, let's just say that. Um, but yeah, khaki green shorts. And to go with that, I bought just a pretty little thing, oversized t-shirt in the khaki colour too. So this is quite big. Um, on the website it did say it was oversized but I bought it in a size large because I wanted to make sure it was long enough to cover my bum in the cycling shorts I wanted that really oversized look you know where you can just see a little bit of the cycling shorts underneath 
but it was too big and um, as you can see in the clip it's just very big around the arms i think the length of it was perfect but i probably would go for a medium i think that's one thing i always do things say oversized but then i still go three sizes too big because i want it to be more oversized and it comes and it's like a dress does anyone else do that like ellie if it says oversized it's going to be oversized anyway that's the t-shirt and i got it with those shorts they are different colours, as you can see. That's more of a greeny khaki, and that looks a bit more like a browny colour. Um, but I thought it worked. I thought they looked really nice together. Really, really happy with the outfit. Like I said, the only thing is I would just go down a size in the t-shirt. But apart from that, loved it. On the topic of cycling shorts, I then bought some grey cycling shorts. Um, now, in the khaki ones, I bought a size 10. And then I went for a size 10 in the grey ones too. The khaki ones were perfect fit. These ones, even though they're the same size, I couldn't get past my bum cheek. I know in the clip it maybe looks like they did fit me, but I had an oversized jumper on, like you wanted to see underneath. So I'm not quite sure what happened there. These do feel like a thicker material, although they were like in the same part of the shop and you could just select the different colours, so it, it was as though they were the same shorts. I can't even help yet because it said they were the same freaking thing, just a different colour, so... Probably just got... Maybe it was just a faulty pair, I don't know, but... If they were the right size, they would have been lovely. To go with that, I bought an oversized Pretty Little Thing jumper. Now, I own loads of these jumpers. Absolutely love them. Like I said earlier, I love the Pretty Little Thing joggers. I always get these sort of jumpers to match them. I'm not sure why, but I prefer these like sweatshirts to actual hoodies. She says wearing a hoodie. Um, I do like hoodies too, but if I had to pick, I would pick a sweatshirt any day. Usually, I would get the sweatshirt in a medium, again, purely because I like it to be a little bit oversized. This time, I went for a large because I wanted it to be like covering the bum. And I would say it was perfect. Um, I'm glad that I got a large because it covered the bum perfectly. As you know with cycling shorts, I think it's pretty hard to find the ones that aren't see-through. Safe to say both of these pairs were see-through, but because I had a long t-shirt and a long jumper, it was fine. Um, but yeah, this jumper was perfect. Absolutely love this outfit, if the shorts fit. Okay, the next thing I bought was just a black racer t-shirt. Um, it's not even a t-shirt, A black racer cropped top. This one wasn't a see-through, purely I'm guessing because it was black. Um, really, really happy with this one. Loved the fit. Yeah, not really much more to say. Next up, I bought this new baby pink oversized shirt. Um, I've got a khaki checkered oversized shirt from P Pretty Little Thing and I literally live in it. Like, I absolutely love it. It's so versatile. It goes with so many different outfits. So when I saw this one, I thought, hmm, let's go for a little bit of a girly pink. Now, when it came, it's a completely different material to my khaki one. Um, let me try and show you. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's like a wool. Whereas the other one's not like that at all. But I mean, it is nearly awesome. Yep, yep. Guys, I shouldn't have even said that because I'm never going to shut up about it. But I'm so excited for autumn. I said this I said this on my last um, shopping haul, actually. On my eyes, saw it first. But we're getting closer. So yeah, this pink shirt was lovely. What size did I get it in? Got it in a size medium, again, just wanted it to be oversized. The one thing I would say about these shirts is they're like oversized outwards, but not length, if that makes any sense. I would prefer it if it was just a little bit longer. However, I do really like it. Okay, so the next thing that I bought, um, I've seen a few people wear these on Instagram actually, was this cream, is it called a polar neck? Is that what it's called? turtleneck 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 yeah it just has the pretty little thing branding on it it's a really nice ribbed material and it's quite it's not cropped but it's not like a normal length i'm not really good at explanations am i um but i absolutely love this perfect sizing what size did i get it in got it in a small perfect sizing really nice fit really nice material lovely for autumn okay next up i bought some mom jeans as in mom jeans that's what they're like at the bottom i've said this before as well if they're not skinny they're mom jeans either mom jeans or skinny jeans 
I get confused with the different variations of jeans, to be honest. They've got rips down the front, but not too... Oh. Oh, I didn't notice that. They've actually got a rip just under the bum cheek. Did not notice that. However, as I was saying, they have subtle rips down the front. So they're not like, you know, like really distressed rips, but they're just like nice subtle ones. Really like the colour. However, when I put them on, I just don't think they suit me. I've tried wearing mom jeans so many times and I will continue to buy them until I find a pair that I like. But I just don't think any of the ones that I've ever seen really suit me. I wish they did. But they're just done. So it's no from me. However, if you suit mom jeans, these are really, really nice. Next up, I bought some of my trusty joggers. As I've mentioned probably about 10 times in this video, um, I love Pretty Little Thing joggers. Whenever you see me wearing joggers on Instagram or anytime really, they're always from Pretty Little Thing. Um, I particularly like these ones because I love the colour of them. They're like a really, really light brown and I really like the PLT embroidery there. It's really subtle because it's just like a lighter colour than the joggers. But yeah, I thought they were really nice. Um, as I said before, if the size in sort of 8, 10, 12 in joggers, I always go for a 10 just to sort of um, go one size bigger so they're a little bit more oversized. With Pretty Little Thing joggers, I always have to roll them up at the bottom, but to be fair, I quite like that look. Um, as you can see, they have got a drawstring so you can pull them tight at the waist and they are elasticated at the waist as well, so again, they can pull in. Can't go wrong with a pair of Pretty Little Thing joggers. Next up, I just bought some Pretty Little Thing socks. Um, they're quite plain to be fair, they're just white and then they just say Pretty Little Thing around the ankle. Nice, perfect for people like me who's short because they're not very long. Um, perfect sort of length. They're dirt cheap but I just think that again they're so versatile, you can wear them with so many different things. Okay, next up, I went a little bit out of my comfort zone, you know, but I saw this and I thought, that is beautiful like I literally need that in my life and it's this burnt orange crop top I particularly like that the pattern like the little dot polka dots on the sleeves and I just thought the sleeves were so nice they're like I don't know what the terminology is again they're like puff out they've got elasticated on the bottom elasticated here as well to hang off your shoulders like you can see in the clip also I really like this frill at the bottom and it's got just a zip at the back as well so it's not, the, you don't have to like put it over your head, it does zip up at the back. The only thing with this is, it was such a weird fit, like I didn't wear a bra with it and it was like flat to you and then it was baggy at the top a little bit, um, which I'm really really gutted about to be honest because I was really looking forward to that top. But yeah, this will be going back purely because just the fit wasn't great. Next up I bought a, just another oversized jumper you know what I want to say but I'm not going to say it um this one was a little bit different I thought and I when I saw it I thought hmm I like you feeling that um I don't even really know how to describe is it tie dye like would you say that's yeah that's definitely tie dye isn't it but yeah really that's tie dye on the front it just says It says AW20, Autumn Winter 20. That's a sign. That is a sign. I feel this jumper was just made for me, to be honest. But anyway, finish your sentence off, Ellie. It says AW20, so Autumn Winter 20, limited edition, pretty little thing. So, just to prove, there you go. And I did actually really love this jumper too, so. I do think this was made for me. I've got a 10 in this. Yeah, green tie-dye oversized sweater dress. So I got a 10, again, purely because I wanted it to be a little bit oversized, but as I said earlier, I clearly don't read things. This says oversized sweater dress, so it's obviously gonna be oversized. However, I'm glad I got a 10 because I loved the fit of it. It was very, very oversized, really long, but you could tuck it up at the bottom so it didn't look too long. Um, I think it's nice for just sort of roaming around the house. You could probably dress it up with some knee boots. Um, you could wear the little pretty little thing socks with some nice trainers for a casual look. Um, in a clip as well, I have put some cycling shorts, just some plain black cycling shorts underneath and sort of rolled it up a little bit just so you could see what that looked like in that look. But yeah, really, really love this jumper. 
probably one of the one of my favorites out of this haul actually really good okay the next thing that i bought was this beautiful beautiful dress honestly guys i love it this is what it looks like i really like the color of it and i am a bit of a sucker for polka dots i'm not gonna lie it has got a little belt around the waist let me just tie it so you can see it so yeah this is what it looks like i don't feel like it looks as good when i'm holding it up but you'll be able to see it in the clip arms are like short but flary which i love it's got a little collar on it um the one thing i would say is this bit here you might just want to put a bit of a safety pin in it because it was a bit baggy on me but honestly absolutely love the dress i just think it's so nice probably one of the nicest dresses i've ever had really nice summery dress that you could wear with like sandals like i've got on in the clip or you could wear it with some nice black tights and some boots in autumn just think walking around like a little Christmas market with this and then like a long fur coat hot chocolate or mulled wine trying out all the food yes i mean i'm definitely the kind of girl that wears more jeans and stuff around a christmas market i don't think i've ever wore a dress to a market but you want to dress up a little bit you know what i'm saying whilst we are on the topic of the dress i also bought these shoes which i actually had on with the dress um honestly love them absolutely love these they've got like a really nice big buckle at the front they're really chunky these are probably the nicest pair of sliders i've seen in a long while to be honest really really like these and i think they looked really nice with the dress as well okay whilst we're on the topic of shoes i also bought these trainers i thought these looked like a little bit of a dupe of balenciagas i thought these were really nice really really liked them love the color um i am a sucker for like a nude cream that kind of palette but yeah i thought they were really nice i particularly like the laces as well which i didn't think i'd like but i thought they looked quite cool um and also they're chunky which i would never really buy a trainer if it wasn't a little bit chunky because i need it to add a little bit of height on me um but yeah love them really nice and then the last pair of shoes that I bought was just some white sliders and they're crocodile print as you can see. Um, do you know what guys? They're nice, but I don't love them. I've already got some white slide-ons like these, but which I actually think I prefer. Yeah, just not a massive, massive fan. I mean, they're quite basic, but like I say, I've already got a pair. just thought because they were croc print, they might look quite nice, but not a massive fan not gonna lie okay next up i bought this white bodysuit um you can't go wrong with the bodysuit i particularly liked the black detailing around it i just thought it made it look a little bit different yeah i thought that was really cute um again like the white racer crop top it was very see-through which some of you might not mind a see-through top but i just don't think they look that good when it's like a, a top like this personally if that wasn't see-through i'd absolutely love it but it just puts me off a little bit like some tops i think they're meant to be see-through and you can wear like a really nice lace bralette or bra underneath and yeah happy days but do you know what i mean and i mean i did have a white bra on maybe i should try it with a nude bra maybe i'll try that because i do really like that i then bought some new denim shorts now honestly these are the nicest denim shorts i've bought in a long while I really like them because they're such a good fit i think i've said this before in a few of my videos but i struggle to find like shorts and mom jeans because i have such a small waist but then i've got bigger a bigger bum and bigger thighs it just never works because an eight fits my waist perfect but it's a little bit too tight around the legs and a 10 fits my legs perfect but a little bit well too big around my waist these although they were a little bit baggy around the waist nothing like i've had before so i was really really happy with these and they're like a stretchy material so they're really comfortable too i really like this distressed look love the fact that they've got rips in but there's none on the back which i like but yeah i just thought they were really nice another thing that i really liked about these shorts is they go longer at the back um, i've tried to show you in the clip 
but they're a bit shorter at the front and then they go longer at the back because another thing I found with shorts is that they ride up as you walk and then it goes to your bum and you get a wedgie and you just end up spending half your day picking your shorts out your bum. So I particularly like these, really, really happy with them. Okay, last couple of bits. I bought this denim, I think it's called a trucker jacket. Um, this is what it looks like. It's really hard to show you because it's so big. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And then you get like a tie bit around the waist. Um, you can see better in the in the little clip. But uh, I purposely bought this a size up because I thought this would look really nice as a dress. Um, in the little clip, I've got some just some little pointy crocodile black boots on. But I think it looked like really nice with like some knee high boots as well. I couldn't find mine to show you what that would look like. But I just thought that would look nice. Especially like when it's getting a bit colder. And you got maybe if you're going out drinking or you're going out for dinner or anything like that. I just think this would look really nice because you can dress it up and you'd be warm in it as well. But I also think you could wear it as a denim jacket um, and it would, would also look good. So it's multi-use. Um, so I really, really liked that to be honest. Really happy with that. Okay, last but not least, and this is my favourite item that I've purchased, and that is this cream knitted jumper. Honestly, I'm in love. I mean, sorry Tommy, but I'm in love with the jumper. Gorgeous material, really nice and thick, very good quality. What size did I get it in? So it's called a jumper dress. Um, I got it in a size 10 as well just so it was I went up a size but it really is a nice dress like it's not too short um, and then with it as well you get like this little thing to tie around as your waist which I thought was nice in this clip I have just got it on with nothing obviously underneath um, again I think this would look really nice and you could dress it up with some knee boots I think that would look nice if you're going out for tea or dinner or anything like that or you could wear it with some black leggings or jeans and then some like little, little black ankle boots when you go collect your pumpkin. Whatever floats your butt, I absolutely loved it. It's the nicest jumper I've ever had. Honestly, such, such good quality. And like I said, I love it because it goes below the bum. So it's so versatile that it's untrue. Yeah, I love it. Love, 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 love. So guys, that is everything that I bought from Pretty Little Thing. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And as I said at the beginning, if you are returning subscribers, then thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new to the channel, then you might as well just hit that subscribe button because you're already here now. We upload every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. So come join us and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and we shall see you on Sunday.